in an article featured on NASA's website titled Sea Level Rise After the Ice Melted and Today. The rate of sea level rise slowed between 14,000 and 12,000 years ago during the Younger Dryas Cold Period and was succeeded by another surge, Meltwater Pulse 1B, 11,500 to 11,000 years ago, when sea in an article featured on NASA's website titled Sea Level Rise After the Ice Melted and Today. The rate of sea level rise slowed between 14,000 and 12,000 years ago during the Younger Dryas Cold Period and was succeeded by another surge, Meltwater Pulse 1B, 11,500 to 11,000 years ago, when sea in an article featured on NASA's website titled Sea Level Rise After the Ice Melted and Today. The rate of sea level rise slowed between 14,000 and 12,000 years ago during the Younger Dryas Cold Period and was succeeded by another surge, Meltwater Pulse 1B, 11,500 to 11,000 years ago, when sea level Plato, which is the earliest surviving reference to Atlantis, puts it this way, that his ancestor Solon visited Egypt. And we know about that visit. It's historically recorded. That visit to Egypt was in 600 BC. And there Solon claimed to have been told by Egyptian priests about this great advanced civilization that once existed, but that angered the gods and was destroyed in an enormous flood. And Solon asked those Egyptian priests, when did this happen? And they said, oh, 9,000 years ago. That's 11,600 years ago. And it's exactly the date of what is called Meltwater Pulse 1B, one of the biggest single rises overnight in sea level that ever occurred. So if Plato made it up, it's really weird that he picked a date that is precisely a date that coincides with the latest geological evidence on cataclysmic sea level rise at the end of the Ice Age.